Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Miguel with SoCal Watch Reviews. If you're new here, I hope you subscribe. I hope you help me out. We just hit 5,000 subscribers. That is incredible. I've been at it for about three years now. So it's been a lot of work, but it's been a very fun journey. Before we get into the video, I know you came here for the Casio. I want to give a quick shout out to my friends at Convoy. They've been sending over product for the past few months for me to check out and also kind of feature in my uh, in my videos. This first one, let me get let me get my uh, my notes here. I typically don't do this, but I wanna I wanna get my notes here and uh, get some glasses here. Let's let's see. By the way, these are not prescription glasses. They're blue light glasses. Uh, in my opinion, they make me look smart. That's what I keep telling myself. I know it's all lies. All right, here we go. Oh, these, uh, okay, enchilada recipe. That is not it. Uh, here we go, convoy. Okay, valet tray. This is a valet tray. This is Italian Butero uh, leather. Honestly, so good. So good for the price. I actually messaged these, the, the company, and I'm like, hey, high price. Honestly, this stuff, your your product from the the quality, the finishing is way better than any Louis Vuitton or Coach or uh, Dooney and Burke bag that I've actually seen or product that I've held. Uh, next, we have their watch bench mat. And this is again Italian Butero. This is super cool. If you're a watch person like me, um, you could uh, check that out. I mean, the quality is so good, so good. Uh, you could put your watches in there, not scratch them up on the table. And lastly, this is their suede watch roll. This is from Italian uh, Suede. So good, guys. What I like about this is this has a really cool compartment right there, but also they provide little suede, uh, little squares. And for those that don't know, you actually put it in between your watch, especially if it's a watch with a bracelet that way it doesn't scratch the case back very supple very nicely done uh, folds like that it has this nice little cord and at the end of the cord I didn't really know what this was if it was like a piece of wood but it's not it's actually more leather incredible work I, I really do like combo I'll leave a link in the description I'm not sponsored by them they did send this they didn't pay for me to say this and I am not getting a commission from anything that you guys buy so hopefully you do help them out uh, you know the cool thing is actually when I messaged them and I was like yeah I'll collaborate with you uh, send me this this they're like you know what we don't have that in stock but we will get to actually making it we're gonna sew it by hand and put it together by hand and send it to you so incredible but anyway you guys are here to talk about SKX Mod. This company is a brand new company uh, started in 2022. I heard of them through my friend Andre from Brave Beaters. If you haven't followed him, let me take these off. Uh, is that better? All right. So if you haven't heard of uh, Brave Beaters, he is an incredible guy from Romania. He's become a really close friend of mine. And uh, yeah, he put me in contact with SKX Mod. And not only did they send one kit, they sent two kits. Uh, and the kits that they sent, and this is cool, I think, for anybody out there that doesn't know the difference. So there's the GA2100 that we all know and the GM2100, which is pretty much the same thing, but it comes with a metal case. Now, I went for the GM2100 because, as you can see, the dial is incredible. They're made out of, I guess it's metal. I mean, it looks like brushed metal and they, they, they have different uh, colorways. I went for the just kind of silver, kind of matted color, and I absolutely love it. However my brother-in-law picked up the GA2100 and we wanted to go with a really cool color scheme black with baby blue accents so you will see that through the video but in the kit you get some really cool stuff depending on what you purchase you get either the full metal case uh, with the bracelet or you get this really cool metal case with an FKM rubber now um, let me talk a little bit about actually modding the watch it wasn't hard at all I mean anybody can do it and honestly I love that they include some of the uh, some of the the tools that you need actually they, they include every single tool that you need and what I notice is that the difference uh, between the case of the of the GA and the GM is the the screws um, some have a, a flat screw and um, some have a, an Allen um, uh, type uh, screw. Now here, as you can see, the tool that I was using is actually from my dad from the 80s. They did include the tool, but I wanted to go with my dad, pay homage to my dad and just kind of do that. So all you need to do is take 
uh, off the little uh, screws from the case there's four on the case super simple you just take it off make sure you clean everything you pop the other one in they do include the screws um, so for my um, a watch which is the GM 2100 I went for a gunmetal color I wanted something different about a year ago uh, I think it's about a year ago I, I uh, put together another mod from a different company I won't name, it, name any names but the quality of that product wasn't great I'm being honest so I ended up selling the watch I just it was too bulky for me it was too rough it was really hard to uh, open the deploying clasp on the bracelet uh, it just wasn't for me and I went for the regular kind of finishing stainless steel and it was just too bright so this time I'm like you know what let's try this uh, kind of gunmetal color and I absolutely love it now on the bracelet the bracelet is a little heavy um, the bracelet alone and this is size to my six and seven eighth inch wrist weighs in at 80 grams just the bracelet alone but as you see it right now with kind of this FKM rubber strap it measures in at 89 grams so I mean that's crazy right um, but yeah it gives us a really cool feel and honestly from a finishing perspective it's very sharp we find some brushing we find some polishing it's really really nice one thing I don't like and I'll be honest with you is this little crown I don't know why it's here and, and honestly I mean you could push it in but it, it does nothing it's just aesthetically there I wish they would remove it so it doesn't dig too much into my uh, wrist but other than that I mean no other complaints the hardware is actually really good really well put together uh, modifying this thing was super easy um, to put the FKM rubber uh, on the case it comes with this pin that you just kind of push in I went a little extra and used one of my one of my little hammers but you don't need to do that you I found out after I changed a bunch of straps on it because they did send a lot of cool different straps as you'll see throughout the video I just used my table and honestly just kind of pushed down and it was super simple and they do include a tool to kind of take it out as this little pin and, and you take it out so it was really cool I honestly preferred on the rubber the these rubber straps they include are so supple guys and the colors are amazing they do have 10 different colors to choose from I personally went with the black the gray the sky blue and the turquoise not Tiffany turquoise is what they call it and honestly my favorite combo personally is this uh, gray with the gunmetal now let me also show you for the um, GA2100 that is my brother-in-law's we modified it with the all black he wanted it just all black and for that one they did give us the case back that actually says Casio Oak now you could keep it on there but it does add about uh, 1.5 millimeters of thickness uh, my brother-in-law didn't like it so we modified it but we put it back together to the original now you're probably wondering what are what are the dimensions on this guy after you modify it, Miguel? Okay, so the case measures in at 44.5 millimeters. Now, from lug to lug is 53.6 millimeters. But if you measure from the little teeth where where it meets the bracelet, it, it's a big boy. It's a big boy. It's 57.4 millimeters, and as you can tell, I mean the way that it kind of folds on my wrist, that's pretty much where you kind of need to measure. But honestly it's so light that I love it I mean I wear this thing everywhere and I'm not scared to bang it up because they did a really good job with the, the quality is just in par really with the case of Casio and that's saying a lot that's that's high praise right there um, and the thickness on this guy with this case honestly it's only 13 millimeters so it's not is not bad at all I, I really like everything from this company from the customer service they've been awesome from the expedited shipping that was awesome and the product itself right the experience of putting it together was simple like honestly it was so easy a few screws here and there anybody can do it so even if you're like I don't know how to model watch I don't know how to model watch either don't be scared it's all good you could do it I guarantee honestly when you receive your GA or your GM or whatever and by the way they do have other models um, it's a good watch it's a good watch Casio created a monster I think they created something that's that's appealing and it, and it gives you the vibes of we all know the Royal Oak but at a much more affordable price but when you mod it it changes the game honestly it just changes everything about the feeling about the look now me personally I've never handled a Royal Oak but I mean I've seen plenty of videos right where it, it mimics this offshore right it's like an offshore with the with the rubber strap and with the metal bracelet is more of a royal oak but it, look this is 
an homage but without saying like this is a, a copy like a one-to-one -one copy it's not this is fun it's it's just it, it works so good it works so good it's so comfortable i'm so excited i wanted uh, a, a rubber strap something that looked like a like an offshore for such a long time and i am happy that i found this company um so thank you so much skx uh mod and brave beaters thank you so much for for the hookup buddy i, I owe you and uh anyway guys I, I highly recommend this company i'm not getting a commission from them so i'll leave the link go check them out very kind of reasonable prices it's not over the top i recommend them you would love you will love your watch and also you could change it right you can make it your own with either the black the gunmetal the traditional silver and like i said they have other um, kits for other casios and i think you will love it uh uh, one last thing, the, the bracelet, like I said, uh, the the FKM uh, strap is so comfortable. Stainless steel buckle as well. They did include, uh, I need to show, they did include a deploying buckle. Now this is another kind of thing that I that I would uh, advise uh, the company maybe to, to steer away from. If you open it up, if this is a deploying class, but you could actually see that it says AP on it. Now that I'm not okay with. That's why I took it off that and I just kept it on this... Uh, kind of tang buckle um and let me talk a little bit before before i let you go about the bracelet itself uh, i took it off because it's too heavy for me but it's super easy to open it plays with the light crazy and uh it actually uses screws to size the bracelet believe it or not it's it's really well constructed the other one that i that i had in the in, in the past that i reviewed it was so hard to open it but this one i mean it's so simple it's so so easy so easy feels quality it looks quality uh i i i i love the way it looks i don't love the way it wears it's a little too heavy for me like i said i'd rather it uh wear it on the fkm strap but amazing amazing company reasonable prices and for sub 300 dollars, you could get a watch you could get a kit and i highly highly recommend it anyway Stick around. I got uh, a new Doxa that I got in the collection, reviewing that. I got a new Christopher Ward. I'm going to be reviewing that. I got a uh, Crown. Uh, some of you already know. I will be reviewing that as well. So I'm super excited. A lot to come on the channel. So stick around, subscribe, help us out, thumbs up, comment, all that good stuff. As always, take care and stay humble, my friends.